what's going on you guys and welcome back to the a ray show in this video i want to show you guys living and breathing proof as it's happening right now that dollar cost averaging is one of the best strategies that you can do you don't have to put in any work and i talk about this all the time you just stay consistent and you'll be good in the long term so in this video we're going to be breaking down my living proof of this happening to my own portfolios and hopefully this will inspire you guys to adopt the strategy as well so if you guys want to see all that stay tuned and you guys already know cue that intro So before we get into the living proof of my portfolio, starting to do a little bit better just because of this dollar cost average strategy, let me show you guys the consistency that really comes with dollar cost averaging. As you guys can see, I've been depositing every single week. You guys can see that I haven't missed a single week and I'm depositing the same amount every single week. Yes, I actually used to deposit less before, but as I'm making more money with my new job, I'm actually depositing more and more money and buying more and more stock. So as you guys can see, if I keep going further out and further out, I'm depositing more and more and I'm still depositing every single week. So I started off with $25, then I went to 50, bought a little bit of a dip, so we're just gonna disregard that. And then we put in $65 and then now we are at $100. So the whole point of me showing you guys this is it's all about consistency and not wavering in your thought process when it comes to dollar cost averaging. You're going to be doing this pretty much until you're done investing, which hopefully isn't until forever. <laughs> so that's the whole goal with dollar cost averaging is no matter what the market is doing, you are buying at the same price that the market is doing that week. So in fact, when things are looking rough, that's the best time to actually be buying stock. That's the best time to actually be dollar cost averaging. And that's exactly why the strategy is undefeated. I mean, let's take a look. If we go to the all time performance, yeah, I've been getting killed. And I've said this before, I started investing in this portfolio way back in February 16, basically when the market was peaking and it was a really bad time to invest. But instead of being down negative 35%, I would be down way more. I mean, if I had just left that money in and called it quits. But the thing is, I'm investing to high quality companies, which I don't care at all buying at terrible prices. And I know that one day, eventually, these companies will be worth more than they are now. So in my mind, this is a perfect time to buy. Yes, they're down. I mean, let's let's take a look. And this is me being transparent. And I know that it looks ugly. And I know, but it's been worse. So I mean, look at some of these statistics. I'm down like 69%. Nice. But at the same time, I'm buying every single week. If we look at EXPI, for example, my average is $43. And the stock is sitting at $21. The first time I actually bought the stock was at almost $85, I believe. But either way, nonetheless, it is what it is. This is a great company and I believe in it and that's why I keep investing even though I'm down a lot. The fundamentals don't change so neither does my strategy. I'm not selling out of any of these stocks anytime soon unless I see something that changes or I see something that I don't like. For the most part, yeah, I'm down on majority of my stocks. I'm up on a good amount from Tesla and Face, Airbnb, Amazon, and Google. But again, I'm down on a lot of stocks. We got EXPI, NEO, Facebook. And again, some of these are a lot smaller part of my portfolio. But at the end of the day, these are companies that I believe 5 to 10, 20 years, they're going to be extremely way better off than they are right now. And that's the whole point of dollar cost averaging. I started off with the ugly side to kind of give you guys perspective. I mean, let's take a look. So you guys saw that I was down my all time at 25%. So let's take a look at how I've been doing at the quarter. I'm still down 15%, but in the month, we're actually up 7%. So every time that I was dollar cost averaging on these terrible prices, I was getting a more bang for my buck. And that's just what I like to call it, but I'm getting a better and better deal each time. So when I was buying, for example, I'm buying EXPI at $21. At one point I was buying it for $18 and now one day it's going to be up to 25 and then 27. And hopefully my average will keep getting lower from where it is now. And this is the company that I believe in. So I'm really not worried about it. And then on the other hand, we have companies I'm actually dollar cost averaging up on. My strategy isn't to sell out of companies that are doing bad at the moment. They're actually just to keep buying those bad companies. And then when a company is doing well off, for example, Tesla is at a thousand dollars a share. My average is $740. I'll hold off on buying it until I see another good opportunity. And it's really not that hard to do. You can actually automate this yourself and kind of 
base it off the weight of the positionings on your portfolio or you can kind of see okay yeah Tesla's a little bit high EXPI or another one that's the stocks I own are down then yeah you can buy on that so that's just a basic general rule of thumb and I, again I know I showed you guys the ugly side of things but let me show you guys a better example of a dip that I had in my dividend portfolio so I showed you guys something ugly here's something that looks a lot more prettier and that's in my dividend portfolio right now I am up almost 30 percent with a thousand dollar gain and about hundred and fifty three dollars in dividends which is amazing I started this portfolio in July of 2020 and as of date it is March of 2022 so it's almost been two years and I'm actually quite happy with the results I've gotten so far I started with investing $500 initially and then $50 every single week. I've bumped that up to $150 every single week and we are almost at $10,000. Some of you OG guys out there that have been following this channel have been here since and let me know in the comments down below who you are and if you guys have been dividend investing yourself. But either way, let's take a look at how successful the dollar cost average strategy has been. So if we go ahead and take a look at my pies, you guys can see I've broken it down by sector and the only one that I'm actually down on currently is the financial sector and this is one that I've been buying again I've been doing the same strategy where I put $150 every single week let M1 finance decide what what positions have a low weighting and then let them buy the dip for me all I got to do is just fund it and set that rule up so with that being said it's pretty easy to do I don't have to worry about anything if we take a look at the activities you can see that I'm doing the same thing every single time. I'm buying into stocks, I'm getting dividends, and then reinvesting those every single time. So if we go ahead and put in deposits and withdrawals only, you see the consistency that I'm talking about. And yes, I've been doing the $150 every single week without missing out, but it's actually been paying off, believe it or not. I mean, we're actually buying the dips when they happen. For example, we saw that and I just know this off the top of my head that Nike actually had a huge drop off. Same thing with Home Depot. But I'm actually able to buy these great companies at cheaper prices, boosting my yield on cost. And again, this is something I talk about pretty much every single video when it comes to dividend growth investing. I love when that happens. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, I might be down in the short term, but in the long term, I'll be up. My growth portfolio, I haven't had for a very long time. I've also had it or also bought it in at the worst time possible. But eventually one day that's going to be looking up and maybe next year, maybe at the end of this year, who really knows? But either way, in the short term, yes, it might hurt. But in the long term, hopefully it looks something like this where we're up a ton amount of percent. When I first started this dividend portfolio, yeah, I was down. It's kind of hard to see it over here, but when these smaller dips happen, I'm down when these dips happen i'm down i'm putting the same amount of money every single week so this realistically this shouldn't change at all but it's because of the return that i'm getting the dividends that i'm getting and reinvesting that this chart hopefully is going to look a lot more exponential over time so with that being said you guys can kind of see it i mean if dollar cost averaging was not to work out i don't think i would be up 30 percent at all in my dividend growth portfolio Maybe at one point this return might be diminished, but at the same time, I might be getting a better bang from my buck. My yield on cost is going up. My positions are getting bigger and bigger. My whole strategy behind or my whole reasoning behind the strategy of dollar cost averaging is to get my quantity of shares up. And in the meantime, I'll be able to reap in more dividends through that. I rather pay cheaper for the quantity than pay less or pay more and have less quantity. So either way, it's a very simple strategy to do. Hopefully you guys will be able to like the strategy and do it for yourselves and see the same results, hopefully. And again, yeah, I know my dividend growth portfolio is doing phenomenal. My growth portfolio needs a little work, but again, with dollar cost averaging, all you gotta do is stay consistent. And then hopefully, maybe by the end of this year, next year, I'll be good. I'll be good to go. And it'll be up and I'll do a video talking about how it's right and how dollar cost averaging is the way to go. Yes, you can time the market. You can try to time the market. You can take some L's, you can take some dubs. Maybe you'll do great, maybe you'll do bad. But at the end of the day, this is the easiest strategy in my opinion. Very simple to do. You don't have to be smart. You can be like me and not know what you're doing in the beginning and then eventually start learning over time and then be happy with your decision to stay consistent and then you get great results. Again, this is not guaranteed to happen, but I mean, the results speak for themselves. A few dollar cost averaged from basically 
whenever you're born and let's say you're 15 years old you'd be up as long as you're buying quality stocks that is if you did it from maybe you're 10 years old same thing you'd be up if you're 50 years old you'd be up as long as you're buying quality stocks so hopefully this showed a little bit of light about the consistency of dollar cost averaging and how well it can do in the long term let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below do you guys time the market do you guys try to do it or do you guys just dollar cost average sit back and relax so let me know in the comments down below um subscribe guys really does mean a lot we hit 150 subscribers so i'm pretty hyped about that and with that being said that's pretty much it for this video i know it was a pretty quick one and not that insightful compared to some of my other videos but we are coming out with some bangers in the the next few videos so with that being said peace out guys remember everybody eats